How uh, are we doing? So I could have just gotten this started. Okay, fuck you, game. That's cool. Investigate all the rooms. Hit this, then we'll go check it ourselves. Are the soldiers ready? As ready as they can be. We're asking a lot of them. Okay. Thom Rainier's fate. Switch the bodies. We have the real Rinie. All right. These are pretty long. Also pretty long. Also pretty long. Yeah, these are the ones I remember now. All right. Let's see what we have. At your service. Man, now I really wish we had gone and checked this before we got ended last time, but... Oh well, that's what it is. Hello, hello. Uh, How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letien's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. Oh, uh, it's just we ended so late, yes, uh, Tuesday, that, uh, you know, I just, I didn't get a chance to get back in there because I was worried there'd be more cutscenes. Because already the cutscenes took us about ten minutes after the end of stream. And there are several, there's like, I don't know, six or seven uh, tasks that are like five plus hour long and I'm like well that would have been perfect to do you know over the last two days you don't see the Empress of Orlay almost killed in cold blood every day not so brazenly no the game's become increasingly insular in the past two years Corypheus skillfully took advantage it's disturbing. So few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. Allies and favors. My favorite moment of the evening is still our waltz in the garden. I could have danced with you for hours. We must do it again sometime. Mm. <laughs> Judge people time.
for judgment this day, Inquisitor. I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, Not really. you are aware of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here, but the decision of what to do with him is now yours. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. I know you put another man in my place. Haven't enough died for me. I wish there'd been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? Of course. What becomes of me now? You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. Not at all. You're free to atone as the man you are. Not the traitor you thought you were, or the warden you pretended to be. The man I am. I barely know him. But he... I... have a lot to make up for. If my future is mine, then I pledge it to the Inquisition. My sword is yours. If I'd said anything less, would an arrow from the rookery have snuffed me like a candle? Take your post, Tom Rainier. Take your post! I do not believe a reminder is necessary for this accused. Her capture and disgrace could not have been more public. Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon, although her titles are among the dignities already at risk of forfeiture. You spared her life despite her treachery. What becomes of it now falls to you. <laughs> what becomes of it falls to you. Empress Celine left her fate to me. Yeah. Kept her in the exact same outfit Despite she was captured her in. Posture, Lady Florian has acknowledged your authority. Should I curse you on behalf of the Elder One? I realize he had no intention of honoring the Concordats I manipulated. Do as you must. I respect your mastery of the game, even as I despise your victory. Celine does not know her fortune. <laughs> we could turn her into a jester. Or make her work for us. What do you think? Or exile her. Or make her work with the common people. I just gave the two funnier options. Jester? Alright. She has caused no end of misery. It's time she brought some joy. Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon, jester to the Inquisition, in flat shoes. <laughs> flat shoes. shoes. Greatest malevolence, Inquisitor. I am the jest of Orlais already. <laughs> the jest of Orlais already. Florian the jester. I like how they didn't bother to change his name in here either. Despite the fact that he is no longer Blackwall, he is now Tom Rainia. Inquisitor? I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be Bastard. 
They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? <laughs> Nope. Carry on. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. Mm, so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. The man you were. You can't pretend he never existed. Not even if I wanted to. But I'm here now. I can make that mean something. Anyway, I meant to thank you, not trouble you further. You've enough to worry about. How are you holding up? I've met good people here. Knowing they have my back, it helps. You certainly keep interesting company. I suppose I do as well. Yes, I suppose you do indeed, Colin. that we hadn't finished this. Oh, I can't go there because it's not a camp. Boo. Whatever. Ha! Dom. Should probably talk to him, but we'll do this soon. Hey, hey, how you doing, Ahmad? Talk to him? Yay. Glad to hear. I thought we had finished all the quests over here. Inquisitor, you have done more for us than most who are of Stone their hold. It is not right that a guest do so much. The hold has spoken, and you are no guest. You are kin. More than that, your deeds have earned a legend mark worthy of one who broke the jaws of Hakon. From today, you are known to us as Inquisitor First Thor. I will be worthy of the gift you give me, Thane Sunhair. 
cannot say that all Avar will be allies with the Lowlands, but your story will be told across the Frostbacks. Oh, that was I it. Will speak with you I got an achievement for it. Farewell. Worth. Looks like they tried to fight back, but most were unarmed. Poor buggies. Never stood a chance. There should be Inquisition soldiers here. Dinan Hanin. I love that ang uh, beer, beer. I love the elven language in this game. It's just so interesting. Oh. Ripsy doodles, these people. Everybody came down here. Guys, you were supposed to stay up here. So that when, ev when the inevitable poor hardcore parkour happened, I could just come back. But no, I had to walk all the way around. Meh. <sighs> I'll go there in a minute. Unless... This is where I'm supposed to go. This looks like where I'm supposed to go. Well, that's unfortunate. Even in ruins, this quite the place. First we hit him like a truck, and then we smashed him with a truck. Corypheus's men have part of a seal. Do they even know what it opens? I doubt they care, so long as they acquire it first. Hmm. 
Come on, I should be able to break this door open. Just like that. Smash that lock, see? Look at that. It should be gone. No. That would be too easy. Heaven forbid we get something easy. <laughs> Not a mimic wall? Darn. Always a hope. Other than the fact that there are no such thing as mimic walls in this game. I am aware of what the compass button does, game. We're like... How many hours into this game? 55 and a half hours? I'd heckin' better understand how this search function works. Exactly. I smacked him mid teleport, so he he died as he reached his place. That'd be awkward. I've got the ability to teleport. You die of a heart attack midway through, and so you arrive just dead. Nobody would trust teleportation after that. Why they die going through? No, they died before going through. But you know, whatever. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Watch out. Now that face right there reminds me of um, Near Automata. Just a little bit. his face. Hey, everybody remembers old what's his face. Definitely a very fun game I enjoyed getting 100% for. Which is not something I say very often. Not a lot of games are a lot of fun getting 100% for. Nier Automata, though, was one of them. Including all 26 endings. Which, let me tell you, was a lot. 25 more than anticipated.
Oh, what's his face? Exactly. Granted, some of the endings were eating a fish and dying. Removing your operating system and dying. You know. Only three or four required you to beat the full game. M multiple times. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like getting hidden achievements that don't actually exist in the game. It just kills you instantly, that's it. It's just an instant death. And then you reload a save. That's it. It's it's literally one of the endings, so. <laughs> I will say, though, even though, like I said, you have to beat the game, like, three or four times, it's not... It's like... Uh, I don't know what to say without spoiling it, but also want to say it's not spoiling it. Well, kind of it is, but it's not. So... Just do it. There. Yeah. That 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 should suffice. Just do it. Guys? Ah, there you are.
Legion of the Dead Mole. Hey, how the fuck did I get that turned around? What the fuck? here, found the body, and then I took a right, walked down this hallway, to worry about. he thought he was the stalker, instead he got his butt bunched, got him.
this is it. Whatever Taven hoped to find, it's here. An account of Red Crossing. When the elves attacked that town, it prompted the exalted march of the Dales. We should give this to the Dalish. They have a claim to it. I imagine the Chantry would be interested in it as well. Screw the Chantry.
Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs. It's hard. Dull affairs. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Du paraquettes. Well, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? The Duparakets used to be noble. You'd be restoring an old house of Orlay. <laughs> restoring it far too late. What are the Duparakets now? Traders? Farmers? Really, it is too much. The very thought causes me uh, pain. Too much. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? Diplomatic connections that reach far beyond the boundaries of Valreo, perhaps. Hmm. I might make use of your ambassador. The Montilliers aren't what they were, but at least they're from proper stock. Arrange for me to be introduced to the court of Antiva. I hear winter is most pleasant by their sea. Winter. Well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain? I shall raise the Duparakets into lordship. <laughs> yes, I shall begrudgingly do a favor that really does nothing against me. Oh, good. Well, I should probably talk to Tom real fast while I'm thinking. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I'm jumping through you. Oh, gosh. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Inquisitor? How shall I refer to you? Rainier or Blackwall? I've gotten used to Blackwall. Perhaps we could treat it as less of a name and more of a title. Almost like Inquisitor. Reminds me of what I ought to be. Everyone needs something to aspire to. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. Uh, I was hoping you'd have more Nothing to talk like to that. me about Tom. Black wool. Okay. Let's talk to Hyosafine. I must return to Valrayo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. Enjoy yourself at the Winter Palace, Liliana. Or was that part of the game? Perhaps it was both. I have requests for information on your lineage from a few 
interested parties at the Winter Palace. And trust they preserve me. Feel free to use those requests as kindling. No, I shall take them. I want to know who pines for our commander. We can use this to our advantage. Pines for the commander. Jesus. All right. Um. Journal. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll deal with that in a minute. Deep roads. I didn't find the sixth gate, but whatever. And I don't care about that one, so we're gonna ignore that one. Empress de Leon. I don't care about that. Exalted Plains. I think that's the next quest. No, it's not. Exalted Plains. Is that the actual next thing? No. Here it is. Cool. Then we are at your disposal, should it be necessary. I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer? Bards entertain the Orlesian courts. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antifa, decided this exciting life was for us. I don't imagine many first-born heirs join those ranks. No. I was a rather foolish exception. During one particular intrigue, I encountered the bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bald threw a knife, and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. From bard to diplomat is quite a change in direction. 
I was headed down that path for some time already. That night merely crystallized it. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Such a gracious woman deserves nothing less. I... Such talk. I'm quite overcome. Should I stop? Oh, no. I mean, yes. I meant... No, I, I don't... Well, if you meant to draw a blush to my cheeks, you've completely succeeded. Hey, hey! Let's return to Skyhold before anyone notices. <laughs> it's good to see the Montilliers rising to prominence once again. Your delight is repulsive. Ah, the Herald of Andraste. Is there something I might help you with? I found these accounts of the attack on Red Crossing. I thought the Chantry might be interested in them. Such old history. Is it authentic? The Dalish do not part with such things so easily. How interesting. For all the elves speak of freedom, they would not grant it to one of their own. Our histories should be shared. I will see this delivered to our scholars. <laughs> the Chantry can be a generous friend. Make a go. I didn't want to give it to them, but I didn't know where else to go to give it to the Dalish. So, ripsy doodles. Well, it's what it is. Anyway, um. Guess I gave it to the Chantry. Because the game didn't tell me where the Dalish wanted it. was far west.
Yes, Colin. She's one I would offer no mercy. We nearly lost the cream about me. Not a lot to say to her. At your order. I've been reading the letters found in the quarry. Samson is making red lyrium from people? Not anymore. Not in that mine. I knew Samson had fallen, but this... It's monstrous. We have to put an end to him. Look at these orders from the encampment. That armor must give Samson extraordinary power. We may not be able to stop him. That's what he wants us to think. But no one's invulnerable. Then we must destroy the armor. I couldn't say how. Templars are trained not to destroy expensive magical equipment. Perhaps Dagna has some ideas. She crafts the impossible every day. Perhaps Dagna. Okay. Oh, Dagna. I like Dagna. She's an interesting character. of something. He should be dead. I mean, you can make a hat out of red lyrium and kill people, especially the wearer. Samson's armor, it's genius. To do all this and not go insane, he must be resistant. Or he is insane. Or both. I'll admire Samson's armor when it's lying in pieces at my feet. Oh, fine. I just need time and tools, people, and red lyrium. For tests, you see? Is that wise? Everything is safe if handled properly. And you don't touch it long, or breathe it. I mentioned the hat, right? No. no hat. Time and resources, Inquisitor. I'll get what you want. No shoe. <laughs> Work to do. No shoe! Alright, so this, uh, before the dawn quest is, uh, not something you have to do. Purely optional. But if you do it, you make a, a hard boss fight not so hard. trouble with them not at all I will inform you if that changes Inquisitor, welcome to the Exalted Plains, a place with a long and bloody history. Even now, the region is volatile. This was a front in the Civil War. Now there's rebels called the Freemen of the Dales, recently emerged and adding to the chaos. Guys, look, I got a little lumberjack. His little flannel. Isn't that right, big guy? Want to show off your flannel? Oh, 
a little lumberjack, aren't you, bud? Yeah, you are. And he got to play outside in the snow today. He's so photogenic, aren't you, buddy? All right. Bye. Must we dwell on such gloomy things? I don't want to dwell. Of course. Look, it must have been so beautiful. Here, Ahmad, I'll Wait, send you one of the pictures. Magic. There you go, Ma. That one was my favorite. This is where the elves made their last stand, isn't it? Ah, you've studied the Dales. Yes. When offered a chance to lay down their arms and surrender, they refused. Nope, that's not it. This one. This one. I just sent it to you. Yeah. This rebel group. Tell me more about them. They seem to be simple deserters, tired of fighting and dying for either the Empress or the Grand Duke. Now they want the Dales for their own. He very of much course, is. They're more organized than we anticipated. Be wary. What else can you tell me? Scouts have sighted Dalish elves. There must be a clan camp somewhere on the plains. Whoops, found the Dalish. That will be all. Thank you. With the rifts and the undead, the Arlesians have lost ground. Most have been driven back to their forts. We have to stabilize the region, allowing the Imperial Army to reestablish its presence. Good luck, Your Worship. You'll need it. You'll need it. Well, thanks. That's a bit uh, gloomy. Inquisitor, I have something for you. What it? See. I do. Potions. There's the wear Oh no, they're level 11. This is awkward. Her level 20 something. Keep off the ramparts. I wonder why. I was never good at doing what other people wanted. <laughs> Neither am I, Dorian. Neither am I. I kind of remember this location now. Now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, oh, I remember this map now. We'll be here for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Well, especially since, uh, let's see, next Thursday. I don't think there'll be a stream next Thursday. And that's as far as I've gotten so far. Maybe I'll do like a DVD one or something like late, late at night or something. But... There will not be a Dragon Age next Thursday. But uh, we should beat Inquisition before the end of the year, as of right now, the way it's looking. So that's fun.
I mean, I'm not doing anything, but... <laughs> Most likely, yeah. I'm hoping it goes on sale a little bit, but uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath, to be honest. Because obviously it just came out, but uh, it got absolutely snubbed at the Game of the Year Awards. Lost to Balatro, which... Everybody lost to Balatro, surprisingly. And of course, I know a lot of people are upset that a DLC was nominated for Game of the Year. And everybody was screaming that it was a, uh, <coughs> it was rigged because of that. Because they're like, oh, so uh, we already know who wins. It's going to be the stupid DLC for a game. A DLC that shouldn't even be nominated. Well, it didn't win. <laughs> but, yeah, people were very upset. All I know is Balatro won. That's it. You want to leave, you little lumberjack? Okay. I'll let you out, buddy. Over and free. Free like a lumberjack. I'm trying to remember, it was Sun Wukong. That game. I don't remember the actual name of the game, I just know it's Sun Wukong. Um... At one point I knew the four or five games, but now I don't. I don't really pay attention to the gaming awards or any of that anyway, because uh, the only person who can judge if I like a game or not is me. And that's a pretty bird. Ah, to you too. Haral the Dread Wolf. I mean, that's not an inaccurate statement, but no, I did not. is absolutely adorable. He's very photogenic. Everyone hurts.
The ring of no doubt. Oh, the game said you went too far away, so we're returning you. demons doing? burial ground. They don't burn, they're dead. I don't know. I'm not Dalish. I'm Canarian. of desecration huh, that's my favorite heavy metal band can't tell me that the name spoils of desecration wouldn't be a great heavy metal band name
if the Dalish ask, we found it like this. the box. Spawning things in weirdly. Almost brokenly. Which is hilarious. To me.
trying to fix it. It isn't your fault. What isn't my fault? They wanted Blackwall, not Rainier. That's why the others are angry. Angry? Really? I thought I was just imagining all the frowning faces. Care to tear into me as well, now that you know? No. You who heal the helpless. You're not angry about what I was hiding. You never hid from me. Mockingbird, Mockingbird, too many voices in the carriage. Make her, they're young. If I tell my men to stop, they'll know it was all a lie. Cold, trapped, heart hammering like axes on a carriage door. Stop, please. <laughs> Cole always knew. He'll always know. It's like, you're not mad at me for hiding it. You didn't hide it, bruv. You didn't hide it, bruv. Oh, there, light boy. Let 
sometimes you just need a good karate chop to the neck. Right. Nice and hard, just. You get what I mean? They called the Herald of Andraste. The Herald. Heard so much about you and your Inquisition. There's talk even amongst the Dalish. Mm. Uh, talk. What do they say exactly? Mostly they say that you're very large. No matter what they say, your Inquisition is the only thing trying to help the world. Very large. Good lad. The world doesn't change without people to change it. It won't happen. Keeper Howen won't allow it. <sighs> he doesn't trust anything to do with the Chantry or Andraste. <laughs> I could try to convince your Keeper. You could try. Okay. I'll take my leave. Greetings, stranger. Are you a merchant of some sort? <laughs> I am Tanya, the clan's craftsman. Leather, iron bark. These are my specialities. However, Keeper Howen has forbidden trade with outsiders we do not know or trust. Ah. Who's Valorin? My brother. He's been sullen for a while because the Keeper chose another as his apprentice. He thinks it's a slight, but it isn't. He just wasn't ready. Keeper Howen wants him to wait. Then he took off three nights ago on his own. I don't know what he was thinking. The Keeper sent hunters to search, but they never found a trace. Mithal's mercy. If anything's happened... Mithal's mercy. Troubled. It's, it's nothing. Just our stores. With the Shem War and the demons, replenishing them has been difficult. For one, we're almost out of herbs, and we lack materials to repair the Aravils. I don't even remember. There's so much we're missing. It's all written in my ledger. All written in my ledger. Greetings to you. Welcome again, friend. Oh. These are not good times to come unbidden before the people. My patience is thin with all that has befallen. Perhaps you should be on your way. What has befallen your clan? The Orlesian War has hindered our progress through the dirt. The armies cause rock slides. They dig ditches that trip the Halla and destroy the Arabels, making passage impossible. Precisely when the clan needs him most, my first, Tabin, defies my wishes and mounts an excursion to the Emerald Graves. And now, I've learned that the grounds of Bar Balanaris are infested by angry spirits from the beyond. I've already cleared your sacred burial site of demons. Yes, but our hunters watched you from afar. 
and they know you defiled our graves, and that you Oops. stole a relic, and with it broke open the vault at Unadin. But I shouldn't expect an outsider to understand. The demons are gone, and we should be thankful. <laughs> a small Probably should have turned it in before I destroyed everything. Why do elves call this plane the dirt? When the people settled here, we called it Dirt of Erin. The promise. For the Dales were promised to us by Andraste. It is still the dirt to us. Even if the Shemlin give it a name that recalls our destruction. One of your clan wishes to join the Inquisition. He may continue to wish. I will not let Lorena leave with you. Not when I'm uncertain of your intentions. Okay. Another time. Please don't get too close to the Hannah. They're unused, unused to strangers. strangers. I won't disturb them. Rest easy. Master Rannis, I did not expect such kindness from a stranger. May I ask, traveling these plains, have you come across a golden hallow? Nope. I fear human soldiers may kill her. If she would only draw close, I could gain her trust. I could protect her. I've heard of a golden hallow. You call it Hanal Gilan, the Pathfinder. You have heard the legend. I'm amazed. You have yes. heard the legend. Some of us believe she comes to the people in times of great need. Why do you think soldiers hunt your Hala? Pelts and horns sell for gold in Shem markets, I hear. And if they were gold. Goodbye then. Huh, goodbye then. Alright. I got half of my favor. The problem is, like, I want to feel bad and help the Dalish a lot, but the problem is, is, um, obviously they don't trust humans or anybody. Am I handsome? You what? But they act you so say you're handsome all the time. Am I? I can't standoffish, tell. which all right. might want to rethink the hat. Completely understandable. I my hats. But it just makes it so hard to sympathize with them further than just like, yeah, you know, y'all were persecuted and still are. And it's understandable you're very wary of everybody, but damn. I claim this demonic lugging stand. So many demons here, though. Spam through a quest too quickly, so um, I may have broken the quest system for a, a couple minutes. Is it finally done? Nope.
Okay, I see that, but I need Veilfire is the problem. Ah, there we go. That looks like all of them. I'll see what the researchers have seen. Golden Hall is over there. Well, that's lame. I was already over there. Ugh, we'll go do that later. I don't make this. My little lumberjack came back to me. Isn't that right? Everyone's saying hi, buddy. That's the desk, bud. You really want to say hi to everybody? Oh, you want to lay down? Okay. Ah, uh, all right. I guess I'll play over you. <laughs> Have you tried? There. A sweater wouldn't be covering her little ears. I mean, Krobus hates it. He literally acts like he can't move when he's in it. Because he's a child. No, he literally acts like he cannot move at all. No rolling, no strolling. He's just a rolling and a trolling. That is my hand. This is a really awkward position, buddy, and it does hurt my back, so I don't know how long you're gonna uh, be able to stay here, bub, but for now, you're okay.
<laughs> His whittle head's just barely below the cam. If I put the cam back, you might actually be able to see him as he is, but... Oh. Okay, bye. He decided he was done. Oh, nothing more you can do about it. If he says bye bye he says bye bye It's just like laying on my walking pad underneath my bed, which is sometimes a pain. Was he trying to summon a demon? Because, um, well, for instance, when I'm trying to uh, leave for work. He's just under the bed. And just laying on a walking pad, which I, I can technically pull out. But it's a lot heavier with a little cat sitting on it. And you have to leverage that. <laughs> and then, of course, it's a pain when I want to walk, because I gotta leverage a walking pad with a cat sitting on it. Pure dead weight. Welcome again, friend. I've got to herd this thing without killing it.
Hmm. Hopefully it just runs on its own path straight there and I just have to stay close enough. my brother out there. Tell him to return to camp. Mm. I'm sorry, but I found your brother. What? What do you mean, sorry? Where is he? No, he's not. I have his belongings. Is this... Is this all that's left? Did you learn nothing else? He was brave, trying to reclaim a relic of the Dalish. Owen loves him. I wish he'd understood that. Thank you for bringing me the news. It's better than not knowing. I found this talisman. I think your brother was looking for it. You should have it. Linda Rani's talisman? It... it exists? Her sword, Eva Nura, was taken by Shens. But in the story, her talisman was saved and hidden. This means so much to my people. This means so much to the people. <laughs> herself known to the others. She knows she's meant to be here. Thank you, Lethema. I will never be able to express my gratitude. I don't believe it. You convinced the Keeper. He said I can join the Inquisition if I wish. Keeper Howen has given you permission to join the Inquisition. I'm persuasive. Yes. I'll report to your camp in the south, if that's all right. Carry on, Agent. <laughs> Carry on, Agent.
one stop these things? Are you Imperial Army? Yes, Your Worship. I fight on the side of Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, rightful Emperor of Olay. Hmm. The Civil War is over. Why are you still here? What? What do you mean it's over? But we need to alert the Marshal, but no one's been able to get into Fort Reverson for weeks. What's happened here? We were trying to retake the ramparts from the dead. They rise here, somewhere within these trenches. They it started rise when those here. three men showed up. Strange lights, like blue fire. It must be magic. But the free men are just deserters from the armies. How could they have managed this? And why? I should be going. Bodies piled in a pit, undead rising. Someone intended this. There may be more of these pits. We'll have to find them. More of these pits. Blow the signaling horn! Okay. Just... 
They, Maybe me. Maybe got word to the marshal, but Fort Reverson surrounded by undead and locked down. you knew what I am, what I'd done, why didn't you tell the others? Everyone hides dead things. Everyone pretends. You wanted to fix it? I'm a murderer. You don't want to be. You made a new you. You are Blackwall. You killed Rainia. If only that were possible. You would stand between Rainia and the carriage? But you can't. It doesn't work like that. So you carry the bodies to remember. I suppose I do.
Oh my god. That was a solid snap crack a pop. Whew. It's like someone set off one of those like um surprise popper things that you do for parties and celebrations just in my lower left back right there. It was just solid noise. That was a 10 out of 10 noise. I felt that in my body, which obviously I did because oh, it, was, it was my back. What you did? Like, I would hope you felt it in your body. Be weird if you felt it out of your body. Nah. Look at that doge. Look at that pretty bird. Love him. I will call him Frank.
Welcome again, friend. I thank you. Goodbye. I need to talk to Vivienne, which we'll do in just a second. Let's talk to Josephine, Colin, Liliana. I gotta turn in some stuff. Probably just talk for the last like 30-ish minutes of the stream with people and then yeah yeah yeah. Sixteen hours. It was interesting to see how much Jesus Christ. Just, 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 just start working on it. <laughs> the sun will grow cold before she retires. Inquisitor, I wonder if you might help me with a delicate situation. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything wyvern. you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, but you won't tell me what it's for. My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. I would not have attained my position at court if I didn't know when to be silent. She's not wrong.
I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other wyverns sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. Must have the heart. Yes? Your lost books have been found. Your assistance in this matter will not be forgotten, I assure you. Oh, okay. Yes? Okay. Guess we're done talking with you. I really don't like her. Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture. They must be desperate. It's much less flattering when you put it that way. If only being divine were as simple as looking good in an art hat. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Garifius wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. In diddly deed, in diddly do. Inquisitor, may I have a word? No. I know you may have many. Montelier, quite a number of compliments. You found me out. By master. An entanglement with our ambassador seems most unwise. I asked Josephine to join the Inquisition because we needed a diplomat, not so she could be toyed with. I enjoy being with Josephine. I'm not trying to break her heart. Then I would be more cautious. Josephine's no stranger to courtly intrigue. But love, there she is. She has no idea you are truly attracted to her. If indeed you are. <laughs> what do you have against the idea of me being attracted to Josephine? I have not known you long, Inquisitor. Neither has Josephine. Her heart is easily carried away. I want to be sure it's taken by someone who truly cares. So, if you feel anything towards Josephine, I want to know. Yes, I'm very attracted to Josephine. Is that so? Whatever is between you, I ask that you treat her with kindness. For her sake, as well as yours. Whatever happens, I'm glad to see Josephine has a concerned friend here. I have so few true friends these days. Those that are left I deeply cherish. I will not trouble you any further. But I do watch over my friends. Good day, your worship. Good day. A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. You're right reading it. Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. 
A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. Do you know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. You take your instructions from me? What sort of help can a dead divine give you? I don't know. Perhaps something to do with a Chantry. Or it could be personal. She guided me for many years, Inquisitor, as a divine and as a friend. There are days when I still look to her for advice, only to remember that I am alone. Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the Divine. It is a place that holds great meaning for her. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. Uh, do not delay. Your open support for the mages, like our agents, if the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. People can hate me. That gets us nowhere. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to... Yeah. I saw this. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. You miss court intrigue? When were you at court? Oh, well, never directly, of course. An elven apostate is rarely invited to speak with empresses and kings. But from the fade, I have watched dynasties form and empires crumble. It is sometimes savage, sometimes noble, and always fascinating. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally, especially after helping her neutralize Briala. Am I sensing concern over how we dealt with Briala? No. Why would I disapprove of... Oh, because we're both elves. I'm sorry, I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Who do you have much in common with? Who are your people? A good question. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the elves of Orlay, I believe Briala is doing quite well on their behalf. She is an admirable woman. She's done good work. Hopefully, with our help, she can help them even more. Yes. However much I identify, or fail to identify, with her people, Briala's efforts have been remarkable. She organized resistance against a powerful enemy. That demands... and only si Oh, where was it gonna go? Colin. No red lyrium, no allies, and soon Samson will have no armor, I hope. You hope? Dagnus started work on her red lyrium samples, but she needs more details on the armor. We found orders in the mine. They mentioned Maddox, a name I did not expect to hear. Samson's letter said something about taking over as the vessel. Perhaps it's a rank among the Red Templars. It could be a title from ancient to winter. Or it's some other role Corypheus has planned for Samson, and Maddox is part of it. Um. Did he serve with you and Samson in Kirkwall? Maddox was a mage in Kirkwall's circle. Samson smuggled letters between him and his sweetheart. Eventually, Samson was caught. That's why he was cast out of the order. Maddox was made tranquil and became...
became a skilled craftsman of magical items. Samson must have rescued him. I can't believe they made a man tranquil over a few love letters. The official charge was corrupting the moral integrity of a Templar. Knight Commander Meredith wielded the brand for far lesser offenses, believe me. Hm. Why would Maddox need saving? When the mages rebelled in Kirkwall, the worst battles took place at the gallows in the circle itself. And I thought Maddox had died in the fighting, or was eking out a living on the streets. A hard fate for a tranquil in Kirkwall. Samson must have found him, taken him in. Having an inside man among Samson's forces would be invaluable, if we could convince him. I couldn't say. I've lived around Tranquil most of my life, and I've never understood them. It seems Maddox built Samson's armor for him, and maintains it still. Tranquil and Kirkwall needed rare and expensive supplies for their enchantments. Supplies we can trace. I can have our men kick down some doors, Inquisitor. Samson's armor might lead us right to his stronghold. First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. Not by choice. They were manipulated by Corypheus. I'm not sure that's a comfort. The Inquisition must serve as an example. We must stand where others fall. I'd like to know more about the Templars. What would you like to know? Nothing. I'm sure you... <gasps> we just jump off of ramparts because life is hard sometimes. It's good to see you. Okay. That's enough for now. Another time. It's good to see you. Bye. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. Halam Sharal. You don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. Politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. <laughs> you got a crappy job, boss. Pleasure as always, boss. 
You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Yeah. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Is he always like this? I'm afraid so. The chief loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the queue. They ever wear shirts under the queue, chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. <laughs> yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Pillowy but man now, you need bosoms. Help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Did you always know? Yes. It's not the most fortunate thing to know about yourself growing up in Tevinter, one rung above slavery. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunathlak. That's what we call someone born one gender but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men, just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. Don't get your hopes up, Krem. We still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the charges, or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. We've got Rocky and Skinner there, and over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. They're mine. So, how'd you join the charges? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Grim, is it? Hmm. Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country. Or chieftain. Something like that. Hmm. Oh. Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Why aren't you with your clan? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick <laughs> you wouldn't understand. It's for aiming. I take it you're the company healer. Yes, first time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. <laughs> You're not supposed to drink it. You really take in anyone, don't you? Anyone who can carry their weight in a fight. And who can put up with your bullshit, Chief? Man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know what's happened with loose cards and looser skirts. For every bloody battlefield, we'll gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horn be pointing up. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. Bars. Hey, boss. How are you? Hey, boss. Yep. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you. <laughs> what did I tell you? Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Nice job with the demons, by the way. <laughs> Iron Bull said the charges were at my disposal. I suspect Haven's quiet by now. Might be worth sending the boys back. We could recover some supplies. We could even pick up any stragglers who haven't found Skyhold yet. Oh, 
Inquisitor, I... I saw some bandits. We don't need those chargers. We've soldiers enough without sex. Good for you, One for the Empress, for Gaspar, Brianna, the Duchess, and Carissa, right in the dangle bag. All right, you're clearly annoyed. What can I do? You're doing fine. It's the dead piled up in Halam Sherelle that's nagging at me. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one Empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things. With their little pinchy butts. Little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That, and Briala being an idiot, the whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. <laughs> maybe remind them not to be an idiot. All right, Sarah. I still don't like you, but... You have a problem. That over there is a full tavern, but everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. I can't have fun with everybody whinging, and they'll fall on their swords before Corifinus can push them. Corifinus. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up, knock a few down. You win or not? You have an odd idea of preparation. I need to keep them at their best. What's best then, Mopey? Constantly ready for death to fall from the gaping hole up there. <laughs> I know people. Pissed off and fired up is better than dreary bleary. Come on. Lead the way. What, really? Really. <laughs> I knew you were different. Oh, I knew you were different. <sighs> right, General Uptight is gone. Have a search about. Find something to mess with and give your soldier. What, the desk? Oh, yes. Center of the Empire and all that. What to do? What to do? All right, Sarah. What do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. I got it. Easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There. Won't notice much, but it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. I tell one of the soldiers and boom, the general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. Such harmless pranks. Right. Little lady prissy pants. Have a look for something she likes too much. Watch the door. Where she greets every important idiot. Yes. Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? <laughs> Get a bucket. Get a bucket. Classic, yeah? Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever. Next stop. But whatever. What's that? A locked? No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messengers something gassy? No, bears don't part. But they flap and... Uh... Hmm. Who is up there? Go! <laughs> Go! That was fun. An inquisitor of the people. Still remembering you're one of them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. <laughs> that works, but not for long. Whatever it takes. 
I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good. And Corifinus would never do that. Corifinus. Good thing for you, innit? Because from the bottom, everyone up top sort of seems the same. Anyway, fun time, Inquisitor. You! Oh, Frig. You did it! <laughs> <laughs> you! Okay. Well, uh, I think that this is where we are going to leave it off for today. And we'll pick it up again this on Tuesday. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody. Stay funky people.